Good morning, good morning. All right, if you guys didn't know, the Early Warning Summit 2022 event is moved to today, December 8th at 4 p.m. All right, if you guys don't know what the Early Warning Summit is all about, make sure you go and check my video out that I did about Stock Market Private Event December 7th. I got my seat. Yeah, it's pretty good. You see this? This is Google. When you Google it, you're going to see your boy. <laughs> Welcome. If you don't know, I'm Ty. And I appreciate you guys coming to check me out. If you like any of the content in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. But this video is talking about the Early Warning Summit event. So, like I said, they moved the date. I was ready yesterday. I was primed and ready. I was setting my phone and my computer to record because around 7 o'clock, I have a lot going on in my house. We putting children to bed. We are uh, taking baths. Sometimes uh, it's, it's hectic. So I was going to have to record it anyway. I don't know if I was gonna be able to share it with you guys after I recorded it. I'm not sure. Maybe if I added commentary to it, I might have been able to. But I'm I'm gonna have to do the same thing because uh, today is at four. I'm gonna be listening, but I'm probably not going to be able to pay full attention because that's when I'm on my way home. But um, yeah, make sure you check it out. And what is the early warning summit all about? It's going to be about, you know, what's going on in the market, inflation, market crash, government debt, pandemic worries, and where investors should be putting their money in the up and coming year in 2022. You're going to have Mr. Lewis Naveler, Eric Fry, and Luke Lango. These are analysts and people that are paid to talk about stocks. You know, pay to st talk about stocks and manage portfolios. Number one, stock picker portfolio. And um, a lot of times we we get our information from a lot of places. And I love getting information on the stock market. And what I love about getting information from the stock market, is it can come from any source. Typically, it's not people that are paid analysts that I'm seeing, you know, in the stock market. It's, it might be YouTubers. It might be, you know, what's on uh, CNBC. A lot of things like that. But this summit is just solely about, you know, what's going on in the market. And you have experts talking about it. You asking the question, are these experts the best of the best? We will see. But I definitely like the concept of the early warning summit to give you some confidence in what's going on in the market. And let me give you a taste of what type of content will be held. Because if you on this site, the early warning site, they have a tab for exclusive content. And make sure you go to this exclusive content tab because on this exclusive content, it has interviews and articles about uh what they're thinking about like uh what 2020 can what 2021 can teach us about investing in 2022 early warning what to know about record market valuations the truth about inflation some of the best opportunities of 2022 what sectors to look at in 2022 so these are all articles and exclusive content that they have already put up. So let's take a look at one of them so you can get the gist of what's going to happen today at 4 p.m. with the Early Warning Summit. So, Louis, one of the big worries out there uh, that investors have, maybe they're on the sidelines right now, um, concerns valuations. Um, you know, what's your take? Here we are going into 2022. Uh, what's your message to someone who may be on the sidelines due to valuation concerns? Well, first of all, um, 
I wouldn't worry about valuations because relative to interest rates, um, stocks are still grossly undervalued. Um, but the market will get a little bit more narrow. It always does as it goes higher. The other thing is, this is a seasonally very strong time of year. You know, we're approaching the holidays. People are in a good mood. That rubs off. Um, you know, we always have this Thanksgiving rally, especially in small caps. But the big rally will be in, in January. Uh, we get more volume. Um, a lot more money comes in the market from pension funding. So, um, you know, the market's going to be seasonally strong actually through May. Okay. And... Um, the year-of-year -year comparisons are still excellent. They're easy. Um, so we're going to have earnings growth well in the new year. The other thing is the, um, uh, uh, the Atlanta Fed is forecasting over 8% GDP growth for the fourth quarter. Edward Yardini, who's my favorite economist, is, uh, thinks it's going to be a record holiday shopping season. Mm -hmm. um, and you just look at personal income. And once you put money in people's pocket, they spend it. And... Uh, it's amazing, you know. The Fed has just flooded the market with money, and that money has to go somewhere. Yeah. So it's, we're going to have a great holiday season. We're going to have a great stock market. Um, inflation is um, a bit out of control, but stocks are a great inflation hedge. There's these things called dividend discount models, and if you had rates of uh, uh, Treasury ten-year Treasury yields of five percent, um, a P of twenty would be normal with no earnings growth, um, w with an interest rate of uh, 3% of PE of, um, of, of over uh, 65 would be normal. Uh, we now have uh, uh, interest rates a uh, 10 year around 1.5%. So I guess um, PE ratios of um, 75 are kind of normal now. And um, so markets are not overvalued relative to interest rates. And please remember your bond interest is taxed almost double the rate of your long term capital gains. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a, a tax reason to be in the stock market. But, um, no, we're grossly undervalued. And uh, the Fed knows what they're doing. They, they knew when they pumped all this money in that it would send real estate prices soaring and the stock prices soaring. I mean, they're, they're doing trickle-down economics, but you've got to be in stocks to benefit from all this. And, of course, companies get to raise their prices. Also, the dollar's strong. And the, half the S&P's earnings or sales come from outside of um, America. So they, they're reaping windfall profits. Because China's, uh, you know, got some internal problems, and there's zero to negative rates in other parts of the world. So we're the oasis. It doesn't matter who we elect or anything. I mean, you know, what makes America great is of our 50 states. So they all, everybody's fighting for business among each other. So um, it's a good model. It's unique to America. Man, that was a pretty good video, right? So that video really caught my attention and I like that video and that is they're talking about things that are going on in the market and things that we all have questions about. So I'm definitely going to be tuned in today at 4 p.m. to the early warning summit and hope you guys are tuned in too so you can learn something new, maybe learn something new, catch a couple of good stock picks because I love looking at stock picks too, no matter who says it. They always give me something to go and, and look up myself. So make sure you check it out. Might learn something. I see you there. Appreciate y'all checking me out. Thanks.